So, I'm going to do something right now that I'm very, very scared about. <laughs> um, I feel like God, I look awful. I've only just woken up. I'm trusting somebody with my life, essentially. I mean, I'm not, but I am. That's what, that's what it feels like. <sighs> Start the day with a haircut. This is probably the longest, other than like lockdown, that you guys have ever seen my hair. I get a skin fade every week and it's been about two and a half. Um, a high skin fade I get, so all of this fuzz will kind of be gone in like 10 15 minutes. But I cannot get in with my regular barbers. Why? Because my regular barbers are quite good and so they're booked up. Um, I need one now. So I need to get rid of all of this. Well, actually, I'm going to tell him to leave the top. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go try and go to a random one in the middle of the city. And we'll see how it goes. This is the, the worst fear of my entire life. What's up, guys? Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. We are starting off today's video with a trim. I mean, it's, it's all right, it's all right. I mean, I wouldn't want to, like my head hurts. Like the fade is good, but my head feels like it's just been attacked, right? It really, really, really hurts. And I left the top, so I've still got a puffy long top, but um, I'll let my regular barbers sort that out um, next week or whatever, because I've got really thick, as you can probably tell, I've got pretty thick, like, hair for that reason it's actually pretty easy to kind of mess it up myself and my old man um back when uh, you know when everything was shut um my dad actually did my hair kind of through that time he would skin fade me but we would leave the top and i just had this mop that came like down to my freaking lips by the end of it all but that was the precise reason that we didn't touch the top he just faded it because i didn't like the sides um, for the same reason I didn't want him to touch the top because I've never had him cut my hair before. Um, he did a good fade though, he's done, done a good job, but that was quite stressful um, early on in the morning. But I'm gonna have a shower now because I feel like he, he sprayed this stuff on the back of my neck and it like stings and like, I also got a cut on the side of my head. I physically got cut on the side of my head and I stink. Like I just need a shower, man. What is our haircut experience, you say? Zero. Well, I have a haircut pretty much every week, and like every guy, I have my favourite barbers. I even travel 40 miles each time so that they can actually be the ones to cut my hair. Ted's Barbers Nottingham. Recently, I've had them every week until now, obviously. If you're watching this and it's in the future, well, it's 2020 right now, and shit is at the fan, and everything is closed. You should wash your hands, you dirty pig. I like getting my hair cut, I like the experience of it, and plus it makes you feel good, right? So I like getting a fresh haircut. I'm probably gonna get one tomorrow, but anyway, that's besides the point. So we started watching a ton of skin fade videos, and they were actually really good, really helpful, millions of views, and these haircuts actually look sick, but, they're all using clippers and razors and stuff that's worth hundreds of pounds and we're trying to emulate the same result with a 15 pound trimmer from Argos. Now that is so much better. So much better. I have an excite, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited about this because if you remember when I used to live at home, when I had the home gym, back in the good old days, the foundations of this channel, I worked with these guys, right? Um, when I signed with my protein, initially I had to stop it and all that kind of stuff. Like it was just contracts, you know, you guys know how it is, right? But this, I actually got from my local, I say local because it's literally at the bottom of the hotel. Like I live in a hotel, if you don't already know. 
Oh, now that is a throwback. Oh, yes. I went in there because I didn't have any energy drinks. And to be honest, I'm knackered. I'm not massive on coffee. I just wanted a bit of a pick-me-up. The monster that you guys saw me drinking at the start of the video, well, I had like two sips left in it. So I didn't exactly open a new one. I just don't like throwing monsters away. <sighs> Peach and passion fruit flavor. How much caffeine? 118 milligrams. Okay, there's not even that much caffeine. I actually have a shoot in a minute with Christian. Uh, I'm going to introduce you guys properly to Christian because Christian has never had a formal introduction on my channel. I film basically all of Christian's content. The coach casts, the FitX show days, the PCA show days, the, well, any show day. Pretty much all the show days that you guys have seen from uh, Christian on Christian Chapman's channel. Um, that has been me filming, editing, all that kind of stuff. I'm actually editing one of his videos right now. I'm going to send it to him later on. I'm going to go and shoot with one of his clients, um, literally just some pictures, but I'll get him to kind of do a, an introduction to himself, um, who he is. He's kind of the dog's bollocks, really, when it comes to online coaching at the minute. Yeah, he is one of the most in-demand people. And I have the pleasure of shooting him on a daily basis, not like I have filming. Yeah, which is kind of mad really because it's just funny like how life works out sometimes. Me and Christian kind of just started doing this together and um, we're like, oh yeah, th this is quite good. Let's do some more of this. And here we are like nine, ten months later working together basically every day. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. My word, honestly. Right, so, um, say hello to Dave. Hey Dave, how you doing? You guys haven't seen Dave for a while, have you? When I first moved, he wasn't looking too well, but it's starting to spruce up a bit again now. Plenty of water, good sunlight, a constant position, because that is good for house plants, you know? I know this because I'm, I'm an expert. Anyway, I forgot to get Christian on the channel. Um, <laughs> the shoot went really well, went really, really good. Um, v is now five weeks out or something like that. I'm sure you guys will get to see that on either Christian's, well, definitely get to see it on Christian's channel. You might get to see it on mine, um, but this is a perfect example of, of why you may not see it on mine. Um, I forget, I get in the moment, and at the end of the day, I'm being paid by somebody to be there for my service i can't then just like whip out the camera and be like oh let's do this for, for me personally you know or at least that's how i feel i really do not think christian would mind one bit in fact he would probably quite like it not that he needs the fucking publicity from little old liam over here but to be honest i think he would be 100 percent down for it i just haven't really ever asked him about it yet I've, I've stuck the camera in his face every now and then i think it's been in two or three videos but anyway christian is a big part of, of what i'm doing on a daily basis right now so I'll do my best in the near future um, on that basis to kind of introduce you guys um, and if you haven't already you can then head over from that video to go and follow him because I like to think the videos that we make together are quite good you know um, but anyway I digress the clip that you guys just saw come on over here big fucking set five when I was filming with Christian, it was on and off, obviously, because it's a stop-start session. I can't just film absolutely every single second. In the rest times that I had, of <laughs> rest times, no, taking the photos was more like my rest time, I suppose. But anyway, I was taking the photos and testing out the bicep in the meantime, right? Doing some pull-downs, I did some pushing movements, um, and it's, it's better, but the clip that you guys just saw was not current, and I wanted to put it in there to kind of... One, give myself a bit of a kick up the arse to one, go to the physio, just get this issue sorted because it's really starting to, to be honest, it's really starting to get me down that I can't train. It's been a good couple of months where I've had a bad bicep and even flexing it like this, like I feel so small right now. I feel like a child, mate, like a, an actual detrained just mouse, mate. Like, I feel shit. It's funny, you know, because I'm in a much better place mentally than I was a few weeks back but I'm in a much worse position physically than I was a few weeks back. So it's kind of like swings and roundabouts, you know, it's one or the other for me at the minute. But hey-ho, I'm not going to complain. I just wanted to kind of put that in there to let you guys know that I am going to start going back training a little bit. 
that wasn't current, that was a good few months ago training with Joe. Um, but I'm gonna document the kind of physio journey, I'm gonna book myself an appointment tonight, I'm gonna do it, um, I'm gonna get myself sorted because I don't look after myself, I just don't. Um, and I need to start doing so for my own sake, you know. Um, training to me is a big mental release and not having it right now is really, really difficult because I'm, I'm working a lot and I like to have that downtime where I can film my own content because that is what I started off doing, it's what I love doing. Um, not even necessarily filming it all, but it's always kind of been a part of it for me, you know. So anyway, I've rambled at you guys enough. Today, we trusted somebody with my life. I did the thing I was most afraid to do. Whatever I wind up calling this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed this cool little vlog. I enjoyed making it. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your support. LSJ at checkout on all things my protein. As always, together we will grow. I will see you all beautiful people. When will I see you? In the next one. What am I doing? I can't remember. You'll have to stay tuned and find out.